Okay. What? What? What are you doing? You're in the thing. Here, let's talk about what we found out about... Um... Tony Cookery and the two. Uh, no, no, no. The other thing. Okay, so when was Tapuni Kokiri started? Late 1800s, eh? Oh, I don't know. No, not Tapuni Kokiri. Sorry, sorry. When was Māori Warden started? Oh, they were started. Um... Oh, I've got it in here. It's late 1800s, eh? 1800 and... It's, it's about just, just after, um, just after uh, 1841, so sort of like 1850 or something. Yeah, like okay, cool. So Māori Wardens are quite well established, respectable. Everyone loves a Māori Warden, right? Yeah, for sure. And they, ha they have endured, what, 180 years? Well, uh, well 150 years at least. Well, yeah. why haven't they been paid? Well... Um, you know, it's that... that it's disgusting, eh? Okay, so then, then, then Te Pune Kokiri came around in what? Was it well, after, uh, after 1947, eh? No, Te Pune Kokiri is a recent thing. Um, yeah. It was originally the Maori Council and Maori Affairs. Okay, and then and when did Te Pune Kokiri come in? Well, Winston Peters, actually, it was his Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So he made Te Pune Kokiri put the two, the Maori Council and Maori Affairs together and called them Te Pune Kokiri. And, and apparently... Te Pune Kokiri, the New Zealand Police, and Māori uh, Wardens are all partners, right? Supposed to be, yeah. Then how come the police make over $1.1 billion, billion per year? Yes. Yeah, per year. Yeah. And Māori Wardens don't even get paid. How is that a partnership? Well, it's not. And same with Te Pune Kokiri. They make probably equal amount. They're probably turning over a few... Uh, quite a few how, million how much? Dollars. How much did we find out? Was it fifty-two billion? No, it was oh, no. fifty-two million or something. It was a, it was a large, substantial profit margin that they'd registered on Dun and Bradstreet to get their credit rating, you know, and it was in US dollars, so it was it's always double what it looks like. Okay, okay. So here's the real ethical issue I have with this, and I'm really it's really fucking me off, right? Yeah. <sighs> okay, so um. What? So Tapuni Kokiri is saying that their partnerships with the Māori Wardens, yes. yet the Māori Wardens have to share one van per 80 Wardens. Generally, they use their own vehicles. Okay, so they use their own vehicles. They've got one van, and guess what? The second van they have to lease from Tapuni Kokiri well, <clears throat> at their own Tupuni cost. Tapuni Kokiri gave them a van. I saw that in the news. Okay, that, that's true. One van for 80? Yeah, but... All the rest of the vans they lease. That how is that a partnership? It's a it's an exploitive. It's partnership. a piss take. You call it a you call it, I don't know. You you you're mislabeling your customers, your partner. I don't know. Okay, here's the other real real problem I have, is that the New Zealand Police a partnership, in partnership with the Maori Wardens, yes. right? Yes. Yet when a Maori Warden goes to train at the police college, they have to pay. They have to pay yeah. But the cops don't. No. And They're off. Oh, God. So, uh, they, they say, this is what they say, to Pune Kokiri and the New Zealand police provide vehicles and training and uniforms for the Maori Wardens. But they've got to pay. But they, yeah, it's like a, uh, they supply them, and that's the truth, but they don't give them for free. They, they pay for it. So the Māori Wardens are forced to get funding from overseas charities? Uh, that, well, ma that makes no, me so wild. I don't know if they're charities. They're actually, I think they've borrowed money. Fucking hell. You know what I mean? They've borrowed money If you're a police overseas. person in this country, or if you're a Māori Warden, please contact us at Māori Ranger Security Division and uh, let us know what you think about this. Because this is bad. Well, what it does, it just shows that it's not really a partnership and it's not really an arrangement for the betterment of humanity. It's actually a... It's a total racist piss yeah, take, It's eh? a piss take and a way of making money from people who are providing voluntary services to the community. And yet the ministers, like Nayana Mahuda, yeah. who goes and tells the Christchurch cops let's, let's, to, like, target us... Let's be sure. Uh, Nanaya Mahuda and... The Davis guy and the uh, um, are they working for a dollar fifty an hour, Peter? No, no, they're, they're, <laughs> they're getting their full uh, pol politicians' wages for life, for life. What are they doing, guys? Really put the pressure on these mouldy um, government ministers who are just there 
to harm us, the people. Well, it's not so much that they're harming us on purpose. They just don't give a fuck. Sorry to swear, but it's a, just a general lack of caring and a feathering of one's own nest. It's selfishness, plain, simple selfishness. I'm really, like, I'm so disappointed in New Zealand. I've exited New Zealand, and I'm a Te Moana Nui Kiwa National, and um, according to the um, uh, Declaration, Universal Declaration of right. Human Rights, um, and the Bill of Rights Act, and, 1919. Yeah, that I have every right to choose my na national. Yeah, of course. There's no there's nationality. No, there's, and here's the, right the other thing: Te Moana Nui Kiwa has been around a long, 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 long time before New Zealand. New Zealand was started in what 1841 yeah, well, by the New Zealand Land Company. It's really a corporation, not really a it's country. It's always been called Te Moana Nui Kiwa from. Well, the uh, earliest Europe. record of well, that's historically, just the that's well, just the, European version. the Spanish or the Portuguese, um, yeah. uh, there's records. Ferdinand Magellan. Yeah, yeah, and of what, 1520, 1520. where Roughly. he descri describes the nation of Temuana Nui Akiwa. And running into the people. Yeah, and that it was one nation, a nation of islands. Now, the police arrested me yesterday and. Um, they weren't too bad, actually. Like, they they were reasonable. But they laughed at me when I said, no, I, I'm I'm from, I'm in Temuana. Yeah, I'm in Temuana Nui Akiwa. And they laughed at me and saying it doesn't exist. Well, maybe, can, We've I'd love to give the cops, like, an education thing because it's, it's so racist. Well, got How so many government uh, documents that start with the heading Te Moana Nui Akiwa. And here's the other thing. Um, the, we're recognised by the United Nations. What are you guys doing? Because the cops, right, they really just need to They've learn. by Nanaia. That's right, they were too, because they were sweet okay, until Nanaia so, Mahuta, eh? Right, well, they were starting to be more relaxed about things and realise that there's quite... Yeah, you because know, the police, they're just... They're not racist, eh? It's the... um, it's They'll have racist people within them. But they're following the policies that have been handed down from upstairs, okay? So if Nanaia Mahuta, the politician, rings the cops, the Minister of Police, and says, we need you to start hammering these people because we've got to we've got to nip this in the bud before it gets too big and we can't control it, that is a kind of a prejudice, that is a kind of a racism, especially when the people that are you're doing that to actually have a nation and they, they wish not to be marginalised by the rest of the world. Yeah, just because some something is smaller, you don't just kill it. Yeah, you don't have to just kill it because it's Just little. because the cops are bigger and more powerful. We weren't doing anything. We're never doing anything. We're That's just driving thing. around in our car, right? Well, we were getting some cheese balls for you. Yeah, I had a craving and I'm like, Peter, and then I got a headache. I'm like, you drive, Peter. Yeah, so... And like, then the cops know. pull us up and then like, next minute... I'm getting arrested, it, but the guy, Connor, who's the cop at the um, Christchurch, he was so nice. He did my fingerprints and stuff, and he explained the whole process because I'd never been in trouble before. He said, do you understand the process? Are you comfortable? Do you know where you are? And I was like, yep. I thought he was real respectful. Yeah, well, yeah. But there were others that it's just, there were some white guys process. there that just laughed at me. Yeah, because, you know, uh, they want it to seem like a joke, you know. Um, that's part of their thing, you know, like, it's like the time we went to the court, remember, and that guy was sitting there in his, his, uh, underpants on video, right? Cause oh, because that, him, yeah. Give him any clothes. Oh, right? the, 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 who the didn't first, give him any clothes? What, the? The prison. So he, they're forcing him to do video, oh my god, that's yeah, evil. Yeah, right, okay, so he's sitting there in his undies, and then the, but they, the court already knew that he was about to appear, and because he has a similar stance to us. Um, when the video link first opened up, everybody in the court was laughing. That's inhumane, eh? Oh, it's, it's, it just shows the jaded and horrible attitude of those people. In the public, they'll be as friendly as pie to you. But, like, but once you, you get them into yeah, the courtroom and the, the, the biasness yeah, in the courtroom, what, what were you saying about um, everything is geared up? So that... it, 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 It's geared to lose. Listen, when you go to court... Um, you, you're the only one on your side. Every other person in that arena is working for the opposition. Yeah. And they've got a kinship together, and so you're really... They've already sorted out your, your, before you've appeared. The, the, when you appear, it's just a, a playing out of what they've already decided. You know, it's the, the people versus the people. 
but the people who are taking the people to court they get everything paid for and the people who are getting taken to court by the people they have to pay for everything themselves. But that's right and if you enter the court and have a difference of opinion or an ethical or um you know ethnicity um like um difference it's name of, and shame yeah and they sneer and, and scoff laugh and, and laugh scoff. and so that's like really bad and break the rules yeah, but I've been finding I have a lot of success in the courts because um, I find the judges are actually very respectful to Te Moana Nui Kiwa, like they know it. Yeah, of course. And it's the a, judges, are, they, they, like a, they like to hear normal talking. Like I always talk normal to the judge. I don't say fancy words. I just um, say it how it is. But I'm always respectful too. So like with the judges, I treat them like the komato is at the marae, like how you should, the court. But um, if you say certain words like straw man and blah 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 or anything sovereignty. like that. sovereignty anything like that that is really just annoys the judges you have to, you have to word your things correctly you and can, politely you can mention those things but you can't use those words you can talk about it as an estate or you can talk about it as diplomatic immunity but you can't say that i'm sovereign or you can't say that i'm not the straw man but here's one thing you can say Tema Wananui Akiwa. Yeah, you can definitely say that. You know, and they're, they're quite reasonable. And um, I'm sure a lot of people, if they, you know, like to get into history and learn a little bit, it's quite fascinating. So we encourage you guys to learn about Tema Wananui Akiwa and, the, um, and how Polynesian people have ethical values that need to be protected. And I hope that one day the police take a more ethical, um, and like, uh, approach towards... How about about the courts and the police just take self-represented litigants seriously or how about you guys pay your multi wardens how about that they've been around or, longer or than you guys like that, you know it's racist oh my god i'm so sorry but i'm it makes me so well, sorry. it is it is a it's a form of racism it's not direct racism but it's kind of like we don't discriminate our prices do so if we give you so little you can't do anything. You become ineffectual. And it's that's why our prices are so cheap. Racism. Like the card prices, we've made them as cheap as we can so that we can actually just cover the cost. It's a, it's a moving forward thing. Because we don't want to make it like off oh, 600 a card so, and then no one can afford that. Like they're $25 for a kid that lasts 10 years, right? Yeah, that's $2.50 a year. That's the ch We can't make it any cheaper than that, guys. No, well, if we start making it cheaper than that, then it, we have to pay for all the materials. Well, we have really paid for most of well, them. Well, we started it out of our own pockets, yes. Yeah. But we don't get funding, by the way, but we're self-reliant. But, you know, we've just kind of started up but you know the Maori warden's been around 180 years so, yeah, that time we paid them will always be appreciated if you want to help out with the project and what we're doing and if you believe in us you can donate yeah of course everyone knows that <laughs> well you don't have to ask it's not even asking it's just saying yeah, yeah but we actually like I kind of feel that the Māori Wardens deserve to get the big funding because um, they've been around longer and they've well, got an excellent reputation. The only, we're, we're the oldest. Who's we? Well, yeah. you're pretty old. No. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Anyway, our organisation... Oh, yeah, Te Wakamingi on Yeah. yeah okay. but, but in terms of a government-paid employee structured thing, Māori Wardens is pretty bloody old. Well, they should be. Well, why aren't they getting paid? Respected than they are. Yeah, why is the and, cops getting like and over? The way you show respect in this world is by taking care of them, and how you do that is financially. <gasps> oh my god, I've got a good idea. Why don't the cops give their profit to the Maori Wardens for or a some year? Of it. No, Please. one one point one billion. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut it there. That was pretty good, eh? Mm.